Well, Mark, Imran Khan has been urging uh, calm, but he believes this is a politically motivated move, that they swooped in to try and deliver these arrest warrants because the opposition, the current government, uh, want to try and avoid early elections, something that he has been pushing for ever since he lost a no-confidence vote back in last April. Now, Imran Khan also says he is prepared uh, for jail if indeed he will face that. This is not the first time uh, that he's had this looming threat of an arrest. It's been a protracted battle between the state and him and his legal team as he tries to avoid appearances in court, he says, uh, because it is simply too unsafe for him that there is a security risk. Imran Khan, of course, uh, faced an attempt on his life in a container. I was there uh, at the time. Uh, he survived that, but he says there is still a uh, real threat to him, but he wants to urge calm at this moment, though he is prepared, he says, for his faith. Take a listen to what he had to say to me a little earlier. You're convinced, are you, that you will be arrested? Yes, I think they're very determined this time. We, not only is the police uh, in heavy numbers, but we also have the rangers. I'm feeling like I'm in some huge terrorist is, is, is about to be a huge oppression taking place to pick me up, which is bizarre. I mean, I've never, I mean, this country has known me for 50 years. So someone like me is being treated today like, uh, I, I guess, some uh, uh, lethal terrorist. That's a, that amount of force outside. They're doing everything to get out of the elections or get me out of the way. <clears throat> One way is to put me in jail. The other is to have me killed. I'm a believer, you know, who believes that life and death is in Almighty's hands. So I'm not really, uh, you know, I, I, I'm in that way a bit fatalistic. So if I have to go to jail, I will. I'm mentally prepared. I've got my reading material ready. Your critics say that you're playing a game of cat and mouse here. Why not just appear before the court and prevent what could be a very violent episode in Pakistan? I have, the, remember, the 80 cases against me. Cases are blasphemy, uh, cases are sedition, cases are murder, and then terrorism. The problem is there was no security. And the government itself, the interior ministry, has warned that my life is in danger. So my lawyers asked the judges that, look, if you want me to be appearing in court, then at least provide security. Do you think there is a real danger that violence could erupt on the streets? My worry is that if now they put me in jail, there is obviously the workers are going to come out. When they come out, if there is every chance that somewhere along the line there would be some violence. Now, I have told our workers that any violence does not suit us because we want elections. It suits them who are trying to get out of the elections. I was on the container with you when there was an attempt on your life and now you face arrest. What is your strategy? Because this feels like another very fraught moment for you and Pakistan. Well, I'm, you know, I'm mentally prepared already. I mean, they've been three times they've come to arrest me before too. Now I'm mentally prepared uh, to go to jail today, but um, uh, what will ha happen after that, I'm not sure, you know, where it goes from there. Uh, we will, uh, my legal team is ready. They will go straight to the, uh, the high court tomorrow and uh, take up this, uh, this nonsensical case. And so we have the legal team in place. So obviously we will fight it legally.